Okay, I'm just going to quickly go through uh, how students and teachers should use the QR code readers. Okay, in Self Service and App Store, there are two QR readers. Ignore those. Okay, in fact, if you got them on there, just delete them. Uh, the problem with using those is that if you're not signed, in, signed into your Google, it will not work. So it brings up that you must have access to complete this form. So what you want to do is use your Chrome feature. Now, if you have never opened Chrome, you will have to uh, sign into your account. So I'm going to choose my account, continue, I'm going to accept and sign in. I'm okay with them syncing it since it is a secure uh, site, Google Suites, and now I'm here. Now once it's open, we're good to go. Now I have not figured out the cheat way to go to the QR code reader, uh, so if you figure this out, please let me know. But the easiest way is to slide down and search QR and Chrome will automatically. Now this is not an app, it's just something that is embedded in your uh, Chrome app. So I'm going to open that up. Now I have my QR reader ready to go. Scan and go. So I've got one here. I'm going to try to get this one that's on the screen. Alright, I've had trouble now, I'm good to go. Okay, the key is, is to have yourself logged in to Google Chrome before you look for that QR reader. And do not use the ones that are in your self service Again, bring your finder bar down, search QR, use the scheme QR code that is with Chrome, okay, that magically appears, and use that. You should be able to use those to scan for break, um, hall passes for Hornet points, which is probably the most important part anyway, right? Okay, thanks.